65 million years ago, an asteroid roughly the size of Cincinnati slammed into the Earth, annihilating 75% of all living species. Thankfully, unlike the dinosaurs, we have the power to predict these cosmic collisions. For decades, astrophysicists have used gravitational interactions to predict where an asteroid will be at any given time, so that we can be prepared for any coming our way. More recently, however, scientists have been focusing on smaller forces which can make the difference between near miss and direct hit. This is where the Yarkovsky effect comes in. But if we want to truly comprehend these city-sized asteroids, first, let's get subatomic. This is a photon. It is a particle of light with no mass which travels at, you guessed it, the speed of light. Even though it has no mass, it still carries momentum. One photon can't do much, but quadrillions of quadrillions of them can. Let's use our imaginations a little bit. Take a look at this ball. I caught it without moving much, right? But when I'm bombarded by tons of them, I get pushed back. The same is true of the photons, since they both carry momentum when they hit me, just in different ways. This is called radiation pressure. Now, since I'm a nice person, I'm gonna throw the ball back. Just like before, catching one ball or photon doesn't affect one much, but when you throw tons of them, I get pushed back. This is called thermal emission, and the force associated with it plays a big role in the Yarkovsky effect. Now that we understand the subatomic, let's get astronomical. For the asteroid, this means that the hottest part of its surface, the part which emits the most thermal photons, is facing slightly away from the sun. Now if we take a closer look at the forces acting on the asteroid, we will see that since gravity and radiation pressure are acting in opposite directions and the force of gravity is much larger, radiation pressure does not end up having a significant effect on the asteroid's orbit. The force of thermal emission, however, has a component which is not in the opposite direction of gravity, which can either speed up or slow down the orbit depending on the direction of rotation. This minute component, which escapes the force of gravity, is the Yarkovsky effect. It can change an asteroid's orbit so much that it can turn a non-threatening asteroid into a weapon of mass destruction with the capacity to wipe out all life on Earth. So let's be smart and not end up like the dinosaurs. Thanks for watching.